Hi crafters, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful project that um, Barbara has actually created. So this is one of the girls on the design team has made this gorgeous card using the new leafy lace dies and of course the beautiful meadow flower stamp as well. We're going to be using lots of sparklicious on this project and we're also going to be using the papers from the leafy lace A4 paper pad and the um, Summer Florals 8x8 paper pad. I'm going to take you through this project from start to finish, so I really hope that you enjoy crafting this one along with me. So we're going to start off with an 8x8 card blank, and I've taken one of the gorgeous papers from the Summer Florals paper pad, and we're just going to take a little bit of all-purpose glue and just stick this down onto our base card, like so, there we go, just get that nicely lined up and then you can see how lovely that then is. Next up we're going to grab in our die cutting plates and we're going to do a little bit of die cutting for the background. So we're going to start off by taking the large leafy lace die, which is the 8x8 one. And I've got a piece of the plain paper here from the A4 printed paper pad. So we're going to pop our die in place and we're going to tape that down with our low tack tape. Let me just grab mine here. So as always, I would recommend taping all four corners of your die in place just to make sure that you are going to get that perfect cut and that the die isn't going to move as you run it through your die cutting machine. Okay, we're going to use our base plate, our plastic shim, our die cut side up and then we're going to pop our cutting plate on the top and we're going to run that through our Gemini machine. Now I'm using a Gemini, you do need to get used to your own die cutting machine to adjust the pressure accordingly, especially when you're cutting larger dies. We have two Geminis in here and we, we use different plate combinations on them both. Um, one has slightly more pressure, one has slightly less. So we're going to lift this out, okay, and you can see that's cut beautifully along two sides but not along these two. So what we're going to do is rotate that round, place our cutting plate back on the top and run that through again. So. I'm going to take that out, just lift this away and you can see how that has die cut out absolutely perfectly. So that is our first layer. What you might find is some little bits may get caught just in the sides here. You just need to push those through with your pokey tool. There we go. Okay, next up we're going to take the next die down in the set, which is this one. So you've got a cutting edge with like a little pierced border. And we're going to die cut that out just from some um, crystal white pearl card. So again, we're just going to tape that in place. I'm going to just grab a little bits of low tack here. I'm going to tape this into place. Don't necessarily need to tape all four sides with this one as it's a more basic shape. So again, base plate, plastic shim, die with your card on, and then you cut in plate over the top. And then we're just going to run that through again. Like so. Then we'll grab that at the other side. Lift that away and you can see how you've got that lovely pierced border going round the edge there. So that's our next layer. The layer after that, we're going to again take our die. We're going to take a little bit of a low tack tape off. And 
and then we're going to take our um the next die in on the eight by eight set which is this gorgeous leafy frame so again we're going to pop that down onto a piece of that lovely paper and we're going to just tape this into place so again this is a very detailed die so we're taking all four sides just to stop it moving in the machine and we're going to run that through so again base plate plastic shim die with your paper on top and then your cutting plate on the top of there and then we're just going to run that through the machine again and then we're going to grab that at the other side Okay, now as you can see that's cut perfectly along two sides but again not along the two at the top and bottom. We're going to rotate it by 90 degrees and run that through again. You are best off running it through your machine two or three times rather than trying to do it in one pass with too much pressure. If you do it with too much pressure in one pass what you will find is you'll get your card and paper twisting in the die and that's when you get a double cut. By doing it this way a little bit slower you do you get a much better cut and you also will stretch the fibers of the paper to allow them to go through the die okay then so we're going to whip that tape off there i'm going to just push this through so you just want to carefully remove that you can see that has die cut absolutely beautifully so all you would need to do is just go in and these little bits that get a little bit landlocked and a little bit caught, you just want to push those through like so. And there we go. And then we're going to pop that to one side. So that is about good to go. Okay. And then going to show you how to create this beautiful panel in the middle next so i'm going to pop that to one side and we're going to grab in the um beautiful the not the beautiful book okay, i'm getting all confused here the leafy lace background die and we're going to take the second die in and the panel die okay and these are the two that we're going to use to cut for this project so there's just a couple of little bits of paper left in my die from a previous project just going to push those through because again if you've got any residual paper within your die that will affect the cut because obviously your, your um, cardstock can't push all the way through so again we're going to take a piece of um, crystal white pearl card and we're going to layer these two pieces together like so then I'm going to tape these into position so again i'm going to take all four sides just because um, we don't want that die to be moving we're going to use our base plate our plastic shim our cutting plate on the top and we're going to run that through our gemini machine that's not cut very well and as this is a detailed die you may find you need a little bit more pressure so what I'm going to do is add my metal shim in so again we're going slowly and building the sandwich up send that through again this time you can see that's cut so much better i'm going to send it through once more i'm just going to rotate it round and just send that through my machine again so this is the thing with getting to know your machine you just need to adjust your pressure for your sandwich as and when you need to then if we lift that out now you can see that's cut really really lovely Maybe's even maybe even attempted to rotate once more and run it through one more time so we've done that in three passes 
but by doing it that way it's allowed those fibers to stretch which overall is going to give you a better push so we'll just grab that when that gets to the other side okay and then we're going to lift that out and you can see that is well and truly all the way through so we're then going to just push that out like so and then we just need to remove these little landlocked areas that are within the die so just push these through what i think i might do is just do this over the over my bin that's just next to me just then i can pop all these little bits straight in there The majority push through here and then just dust it off in the bin there we go so you can see these are cut they just need that little bit of pushing through just to get all of these little sections out but this is such a beautiful die it is absolutely gorgeous it is so so detailed almost looks like a do you like a laser cut image so so lovely so just push this through keep going i do find this quite therapeutic actually doing all the pushing through bits right let's get that bit in the bin and then i'll just finish pressing these little bits out just over my dust bin that i've got over here just get these through and there we go centers of the flowers you just have to be careful of your fingers when you're doing this that's the only thing i would say please don't go in and um be popping the pokey pokey tail through your finger you definitely don't want to do that all right should just get these last little last little bits out there and there we go. And there we go. So you can see how beautiful that die cut image then is. So what we're then going to do is take a piece of, um, that makes it actually a little scrap, just a little scrap of crystal white or a white card and I'm going to pop that behind but before I do that I'm going to take a little bit of um, double sided adhesive sheet and what I'm going to do is just measure this panel die to start with so let me just grab my trimmer so I'm going to measure the die so it's just about four four and one eight I'm going to take this down to about four and a quarter. I'm going to do the same with my double sided adhesive sheet. So, trim that to there. Trim that to there. Okay. Then we're going to take our double sided adhesive. We're going to place it over this little square of card and a little bit a little bit off the top there but I think we should be okay we're going to peel away that backing and then we're going to take this lovely die cut piece and just position that down over the top like so now this is where you need your release paper so then you're going to take that and just rub the image over like so to get that nicely stuck down and then we're going to take our chunky crystalline glitter okay and this glitter is absolutely beautiful and we're just going to sprinkle this over the top it almost looks like crushed jewels Around there. There we go. And you 
up and see how beautiful that then looks. So we're going to start and build our card up now. Okay. So we're going to start with some foam pads on our first leafy lace layer. I'm just going to grab some foam pads. Again, as always, I'm using our foam pads on a roll, which are amazing. They are so, so good. They've got that finger lift backing, which makes it so, so easy to just whip going to get stuck straight down onto our card blanket there okay then next up we're going to have that gorgeous die cut white layer with the little pierced border so we'll take the backs off of those to there okay and then we're going to take that next die cut piece which is that gorgeous leafy frame and then we'll whip the backs off of this one And then we're going to do the same with the next one. Pop that on some foam pads. So just grab a few of those foam pads off the roll. And we'll just take the backs off. And then that's going to get stuck down onto our base card there. Okay, so next up I'll show you how to do this little sentiment plaque. So this is using our Leafy Lace Hexagon die. So let me just grab that one. one there okay so that comes in uh, four different pieces so we're just going to use the three smaller elements from there and then we're going to use one of the little stamps as well from the birthday happiness set so we're going to take our hexagon die and we're just going to push these little pieces out because again being on a little roll filming today so i've already used this die in a in another project and i haven't quite cleaned it out yet so just give me two seconds just to push these little bits through. Could do the whole whacking it on the table, but I feel like that will create a lot of noise on the camera for everyone at home. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take a piece of a white card and we're gonna die cut one from um, the fancy leafy lace one from out of there so again tape down in place I'm going to take a piece of that gorgeous orangey paper and you just grab some scissors just so I can trim that down to a slightly smaller piece there we go I'm going to tape that into place as well like so and then I'm going to grab a little bit of crystal white pearl card just to do the smallest one on. Just gonna trim a little piece down from a scrap pile over here. Pop that there. Pop that there. 
there and that there. Okay then. So again, we're going to grab our plate in for our die cutting machine. So we're going to be using our base plate, our plastic shim, and then our cutting plate on the top. So just arrange those and then run those through. So I'm going to grab that at the other side. The two plain ones will be cut. The little fancy one will need a little rotate and a run back through. Just little leafy hexagon. Again, just need to push the little bits through that have remained in the card. two little plain ones here ready to do our little sentiment on to I'm actually going to move my die cutting plates out of the way because we are done with those for now so I'm going to take a couple of foam pads just onto the back of here peel the back off I'm going to pop that just in the corner down here I'm going to grab my little pierced one I'm going to pop that there and then I'm going to take that smaller one and I'm going to stamp my sentiment in the middle of it. So I've got a slightly different sentiment to the one that's on the finished sample. I'll just dust that over, I'm going to ink up that stamp and then I'm going to pop my little sentiment down. Like so, it is going to cut a little bit off, but it should be okay. Lift that off. I'm going to grab in my little bit of scrap paper again. I'm going to take my silver super fine embossing powder, sprinkle that over, tap away the excess. Okay. And then we're just going to heat this up. So this stamp was actually designed to fit in the pierce, the pierce hexagon. And I have just smudged that with my nail. But there are other stamps on the set, like the one that's been used on the finished sample that are more designed to go within the smaller hexagon. So we pop our little sentiment down there. Okay, and then we're gonna start and create some gorgeous flowers. So we are going to be using that meadow, the meadow flower um, stamp set. Okay, so on the finished sample, there are four flowers, but I'm just going to pop three onto mine because I think that's enough. So the vellum that we used to stamp these onto is this one here. And you can see it's from that watercolour washers vellum pack, which is fabulous. And it is perfect because you've got all different watercolours, kind of colours on here. So you're going to get a different effect each time. I'm actually going to make up the smaller flower just to show you how gorgeous this then looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my anti-static bag, give it a good dusting over like so. And then I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to stamp two of these. So we'll go a bit more in the ready area. And then we're going to take our opaque bright white super fine embossing powder. And you're going to sprinkle that over the top and then tap away your excess. Any remainders going straight back into that jar there. Then we're just going to heat this up. 
So again, just holding that heat gun still. As soon as you see that embossing powder start to melt and change, you need to move the heat gun. There we go. And then we're going to take our scissors and cut these out. So I'm just going to give them a couple of seconds just to cool. And we're just going to cut these little flowers out like so. So a top tip for when you're cutting is move your paper as opposed to moving your scissors. That's two, okay. And then what we're going to do is you want to make sure you've kind of cut towards the centre. So make sure you've cut in between the little petals, which I have as I've cut it out. And then you're just going to pinch down the middle the flowers, like so. Just pinching down the centre. Okay. And then you're going to pop a little blob of glue in the middle and layer those together. So that's how you create your smaller ones. You can then use our stamen die to get, die cut your stamen to go in the middle here. And then I've also got the large one because we've got two large and a medium and a small on this project to show you how to make it up. So again with your large. So in total, you were going to need to stamp and emboss six of the large flower three of the medium and two of the small. So then you're going to do the same with the large flower, pinch down the centres of those petals like so. So you are creating like a little mountain fold just down the middle. Okay, and then we're going to layer these up. So I'm going to make this one my base one. And again, because we've used that beautiful watercolour washes vellum, you then get the different colours coming through on the flowers, which is what I love personally. I really, really like this effect. So then we're going to pull this up towards ourselves again. And then we're going to just offset and rotate and place that oops place that down you just have to give that glue a couple of minutes just to grab and it does always look quite 3d when you stick it at this point but you can once your glue's dried and it's grabbed you can flatten it out a little bit okay we're then going to take our stamen and we're going to stick this down in the middle so we're going to just pull those little petals up towards me so this is from our stem and die set just cut that out from some crystal white pearl card and popped a little bit of that chunky crystallina on the edge so we're going to position that down in the middle and just hold that for a second and then i'm going to take one of those gorgeous pearls from the leafy lace pearl box and pop that directly down into the middle Like so. And then all I'm going to do is go in with my Dries Clear PVA and just add some little dots onto the petals. And then I'm going to cover that with our gorgeous um, chunky crystallina glitter. So I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. So sprinkle, sprinkle, tap away the excess and then look at how gorgeous that flower is so so pretty so we'll get on finishing assembling this card now so we're going to bring our base card back in and we're going to just 
kind of position those little flowers where we think we'd like them so those i think those two will go there and i'm going to use a little bit of my pin fly glue to stick that down just need to remember this little flower here is still a little bit wet so just need to be a little bit careful normally i would allow them the time to dry before kind of sticking them together okay so i've got my other large flower here so we're going to tuck that in there then we're going to tuck our medium one just to the back oops just to the back there i'm going to tuck this little one just down in the corner so you can see how we've created that beautiful floral arrangement what I've then done is I've gone in and die cut and I store these in a little box so that you've got them always ready to go. I've just die cut loads of our little bits of leafy foliage. So what I'm going to start and do is just tuck some of these in behind those flowers. So we're going to tuck that one in there. And then we'll tuck another one here. And I've just took one, peeping down here. And to tuck these in, all I'm doing is just popping a little blob of pin flare on there and then just kind of tucking them in. And I'm trimming these little ends off as well because you don't want to end up with like too much foliage kind of tucked in, in and around. And then we're going to add a little bit of foliage here. Over here and you can see how that has then all come together really beautifully so then if you want to you can go in and embellish further with some pearls or what I would probably do actually is I would shuffle all this a little bit that way just then you can see more of that gorgeous background there we go so that would then be your finished project so i really hope that you have enjoyed making this card with me today all of the materials used are available from www.chloescreativecards.co.uk and i've listed and linked all of the items in the description below if you haven't done so already please do have a look on our youtube channel and subscribe we've always got lots of inspirational videos coming your way and i really hope to see you again very soon Thank you for joining me. Bye.